Hey guys, Jenny PRD, registered dietitian and nutrition expert. Thanks so much for checking in. This video is another grocery haul video where I'm going to give you five delicious meal ideas for dinner and they all have one thing in common, delicious non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is fantastic for you, giving you extra protein, calcium, and vitamin D. So why not add more to your diet? So the first meal we're gonna talk about is quesadillas. Quesadillas are definitely a staple in my household. So easy to have all the ingredients on hand. So first we start with canned black beans, canned corn and um, tomatoes. And what I do is obviously drain the beans, drain the corn and squeeze out the extra juice in the tomatoes. And I throw that in a pan with some olive oil, some chili powder and some onion powder, heat it all through so good and then I throw it into a bowl and then I add the tortilla. I use whole wheat tortillas, throw that in the pan and I cover it with some shredded cheese. We love white cheddar. It's so delicious, a little bit goes a long way but you use whatever cheese of choice you'd like. And so melt the cheese on the bottom and then on half of that wrap, add that veg vegetable mixture and fold it over and then just brown both sides and it's done and delicious. So we're gonna use the Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. If you're not ready to do that, then I would just encourage you to do half sour cream and half Greek yogurt. Another meal is chicken salad sandwiches on whole wheat bread with sweet potato french fries. So delicious. So what I do is boneless, skinless chicken thighs, throw them in the crock pot, and I buy some reduced sodium or no added salt or salt-free chicken stock, add tons of seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, parsley, basil, oregano, whatever you wish in there. And you can cook it in your crock pot on high for four hours or on low for eight hours. And then it's gonna just shred wonderfully. And then add that to a bowl and add some mayonnaise and add some non-fat plain Greek yogurt. So you're gonna get that delicious tang and creaminess that you would want in your chicken salad sandwiches. Dice up some celery as well as some grapes add some fresh ground of black pepper mix it all together throw it on top of some whole wheat toast or some rye toast and you can have more vegetables with some baby spinach on top and sliced tomato on top of your sandwich sweet potato fries so easy 425 degrees fahrenheit cut up those sweet potatoes after you wash them about a quarter inch thickness lay them on a sheet pan that you spray with non-fat cooking Spray, drizzle them with olive oil, and then some paprika, some black pepper, some garlic powder, and a pinch of cinnamon. Mix it all up, so delicious. And the key is once they're all done, about 18 to 22 minutes, every few minutes, you know, check them to make sure the bottoms aren't burning. Take them out and a tiny dash of salt over the top is so good. So that is our next meal we're gonna talk about is tuna melts. We love those in our house too. So simple canned tuna, drain it, Add again mayonnaise and the Greek yogurt to get that creaminess. And you're gonna add some celery and some fresh black pepper. Top it over some wheat toast and put that in the oven with a slice of tomato and some cheese on top. Melt that cheese, so delicious. And we're gonna have some regular fries on the side. So again, 425 degrees, baked potatoes sliced about a quarter inch thickness. Spray that sheet pan, drizzle it with olive oil. And these I top with some parsley and of course the black pepper and garlic powder. And again, that pinch of salt at the end, 18 to 22 minutes. So delicious and good. Another meal is tacos. We love those. My little boys absolutely love them too. So that's where we're gonna brown up some meat, meat of choice. You guys wanna try to choose 90% to 10, 90 to 10 ratio or even a 93 to 7% ratio. You can even do the um, turkey, which is 99% fat free, as long as you're adding some fat somewhere to make sure you're being able to absorb vitamin um, A, D, E, and K in the foods that you're eating. So we are gonna use the Greek yogurt similar to the sour cream in the quesadillas. So again, half and half, if you're not ready to do 100% just Greek yogurt, but it still is so delicious. And then our last meal is chicken marsala with mashed potatoes and asparagus. So I wanna just talk about the mashed potatoes, just those red russet potatoes, just chop them up and boil them 
for about 15 minutes. Cut them small enough and then when you put your fork in the pot of boiling water, it should just kind of fall right off and you know that your potatoes are done. Drain them and add some skim milk or low fat milk. Add a nice dollop of some of that Greek yogurt. I add some garlic powder, some parsley in there, mash it all together, and of course, maybe a tablespoon or so of butter. And you have some delicious and creamy potatoes served with some chicken marsala and asparagus. So easy, delicious meals for you, all highlighting different uses of Greek yogurt. Hopefully these meals are helpful for you. I encourage you to please subscribe to my channel. Definitely comment any nutrition topics you want to talk about below in the comment section. And quick shout out to my Fat to Fit weight loss group on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, your body is your temple, so treat it well. Stay tuned for more videos.